What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 107 and we start today's episode off by seeing we've got a couple of players injured. Uh, Lucas picked up an injury in the last game. He's going to be out for three weeks. So did El Kaduri. He's also going to be out for three weeks. Funny enough though, I couldn't find the El Kaduri injury. Uh, you would have seen in the last game against PSV in the last episode. Lucas got an injury. I couldn't find out where El Kaduri got injured, but clearly he did. Um, maybe he's just pulling the sickie. I don't know. But um, yeah, El Kaduri and Lucas are both injured. They've both got three week injuries and that's not too bad. I mean, Lucas of course one of the best players uh, sorry is the joint best player in the team but for El Kaduri I don't mind too much but even with Lucas injured we got Carrasco who scored a hat-trick in the last game waiting to play so this side I mean as you see the squad report right here I just I'm in love with this side I really am I, I want to stay here for the rest of the season I think that's what I'm going to do as well unless we got a job offer I'm not going to offer for any jobs during this season I want to stay here this year because we've built such an amazing side it seems pointless to leave them after six months it really does so I think we're going to stay with Napoli for the rest of the season I really do and uh, maybe look to maybe look to move next year but for this year I'm perfectly happy staying with Napoli we have got such an amazing side it is so strong in depth we've still got the January transfer window if we want to do a bit more business and um, yeah we've got to a great start and I don't want to leave after just a few months with this new look Napoli side so 11 games in uh, to the Serie A, 8 wins, 3 draws, 0 losses, 27 goals scored, 27 points gained and uh, with 2 points clear of Roma in 2nd place and 6 points clear of Juventus in 3rd. So yeah, I can't really see how we're going to slip up this year, I really don't. But um, anyway, uh, we take on Siena for the first game of today's episode and to be honest, I decided to simulate this one. I mean, I know that of course last year we simulated loads and loads and loads of games to uh, get to this season really quickly and um, you know, that was the only reason we simulated games last year just so we can get to this season really quickly but this year we haven't simulated a single game yet but I decided to simulate this one because you know I still do believe there are some games in this league that are going to be formalities for us definitely with our incredibly strong side and with that in mind I mean I know it must be fun to you know watch me put loads and loads of goals past loads of different teams but to be honest I think there are some games we should probably simulate and because the quicker we can get through these um these months before the transfer window, I would imagine that's the, the funnest thing for you guys. I really would. You know, you guys probably like the transfer side of this career mode. So the quicker we can get a few the months uh, before January and of course the summer, it's probably better for you guys. So we decided to simulate that game. We won't simulate most games at all. We'll, we'll only simulate like once out of you know maybe like seven or eight games at the uh, the least. So it's not really that bad. But uh, even so, and um, we did simulate that one. We won it as expected, and um, we won by five goals to nil. We didn't have a couple of international games with Chile, but of course you know there were simple. Uh, simple games which you don't really care about to be honest we lost one on one one and that's perfectly fine, uh, fine with me we're already qualified for Russia 2018 so we don't really need to play the international friendlies or even care about them to be honest but uh, anyway we took on Bologna uh, for the first game of today's episode and of course coming into this game I was feeling very very confident I really was um, you know of course with this side it's just you know you cut you you, you we're, we're favorites for every single game you know there's no there's no way there's no uh, no doubt about it we are favorites for every single game really we have such an amazing side here at Napoli and we take on Bologna and I really did feel this would be a formality for us to be honest but uh, as I said I will probably simulate a few more games as there's, there's one or two more left in this episode as well which we simmed but to be honest I won't simulate all the games but there are some which are formalities but I still do want to play some of these games against the, uh, the sort of the second um Sorry, the uh, the lower half of the table. So we come into this game against Bologna, and the first chance would come in the ninth minute. Ogbonna played the ball to Fabio De Silva here. He plays a great ball over the top towards Eden Hazard. Lovely touch to get around this man. Great piece of agility by the left winger. Keeps on going. Crosses the ball towards Mario Balotelli. Lovely little touch here, but his shot is well saved. So Balotelli is coming back from injury, almost making it 1 0 here, but he couldn't find the back of the net. We kept the danger on, though. Bologna couldn't get the ball away. Eventually, Balotelli strolled it through to Baritti. He found Hazard. His shot was well saved but there was Florenzi and Florenzi finds the back of the net so he's been a little bit of a bit player since we signed him from Roma you know he's struggled to get into the first team struggled to get a first 11 space uh, sort of pinned down really but he's still a very decent player and whenever we do play him he always seems to perform so good finish by Florenzi and it's 1-0 to us here and in the 42nd minute Insigne finds Fabio down the left hand side really good chance here as Fabio keeps on going step overs around his man then a roulette rolls the ball into the path of Insigne and it's an absolutely superb finish by Insigne gets onto it and just smashes it into the back of the net first time it hits the um the the post the inside of the post and just rifles into the back of the net so Insigne makes it 2-0 to us here away from home and uh, in 45 minutes to already be 2-0 up you know with uh, Bologna barely creating any chances whatsoever I definitely felt the result was already going to be in the bag with the second half to play so really good finish by Insigne and a great run by Fabio as well there's there's been a couple of comments I've read from people saying that I should switch Fabio from left back to right back I understand why you think that because of 
of course, they're both right-footed players. Um, um, and uh, De Chilio's got a five-star weak foot. So I understand why you probably think it's better to have De Chilio play left-back instead of right-back and have Fabio playing right-back so he can, you know, uh, take advantage of the fact he is right-footed on the right side. But to be honest, I like Fabio at left-back. I really do. He plays very well there. But uh, anyway, Bologna did get a goal back in the 52nd minute. Now, that was really frustrating. The shot came in. Bardi looked like he made the save, but it just seemed to bounce up in the air and end up getting um, put into the empty net on the line. So Bologna get themselves a goal back and possibly a route back into this game. But to be honest, they didn't really threaten after that. And in the 62nd minute, a great chance for us to make it 3-1. Fantastic run by Hazard, really good piece of dribbling, great piece of balance, gets himself in field, it's a great save, the ball finds to Insigne, it's another good save, but eventually it falls to the far post, and for the second time in this game, Florenzi has a goal from a rebound goal, so it's 3-1 here, and the poor old Bologna goalkeeper was playing so well, but he'd already had three goals past him, and in the 75th minute, though, a great chance for uh, Bologna, uh, Romano gets onto the ball and has a great finish into the back of the net, nothing Bardi could do about that one, I thought he should have, uh, should have, shaved, uh, should have saved the first uh, shot, and the first goal, but uh, there was nothing he could do about that one, and it was 3-2 here, so a chance for Bologna to get back in the game, maybe, but maybe not, because they didn't get themselves back into the game at all, really. After that goal, they barely threatened, and we did indeed hold on and claim the three points, so a 3-2 victory away from home, really nice win, two goals for Florenzi, one for Insigne, and a 3-2 victory. We made hard work of it, I think it's the best way to describe that game, but we got the win, and that's the most important thing. But uh, after that, we took on Bilbao in the Champions League, and you're probably wonder what, wondering why I did simulate this one. One, but to be honest, you'll see the group table in just a moment. It was looking very, 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 very unlikely with two games to go that there would be any doubt that we wouldn't qualify for the knockout stages. The game did indeed finish one goal each. And as you'll see the group table, we have already qualified for the knockout stages after five games. So we have just blitzed past everyone in this group. We really have. We've we've drawn against Bilbao and Copenhagen, but we are still four points clear of PSV going into the last game, who sit in seconds. We've guaranteed ourselves a first place finish. And it's been such a simple group for us. It really has. You know, when you look at those sides as well, Bilbao and PSV, those are pretty decent sides. Copenhagen, yes, you know, the wooden spoon, it's already been sort of assigned to them before the group was, uh, the first game was even played, probably. But, uh, you know, you look at those two teams in Bilbao and PSV, you wonder why it's been so easy to play against them. We have been able to uh, qualify as first and we've already got a game to go. So that's really good news for us. We then took on Hellas Verona and we won this game by three goals to one. So again, a very simple victory for us in the league. And I did say, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how many games I will simulate but if I do simulate you know let's say one in five games you know they are going to be the games which are pretty much formalities for us really so we simulated that when we got the win and that was exactly what we expected so it sort of felt pointless to play it really but uh, we took on Udinese for the following game here away from home this game isn't really a formality these are the sort of games that will be a challenge for us away from home so we take them on here without Ranocchio as well he actually got suspended in the last game uh, against Verona in the simulated game so he wasn't able to play in this game but I didn't really mind too much because our centre-back options are very very strong you take out Obona and uh, Ranocchia and then you've got players like Fernandez and Fidelef, Guterres and Nastasic and Bruno Avini and so many decent centre-halves to play instead so it didn't really matter that Ranocchia wouldn't be uh, playing in this game but we took on Udinese and they do have some very decent players including, uh, including Lopez up top so some uh, very decent players in that side. The first chance would come in the 21st minute though and it would come to us we gave the ball to Bariti here who found Eden Hazard down the left-hand side he just kept the ball on and found Balotelli and what a finish that was, really good volley the guy has just been unstoppable he really has. The only way you can stop Balotelli from scoring is injuring him, clearly. Because every time he gets onto the team sheet, he always seems to uh, crop up with a goal. And just 22 minutes in, he gets a good one here. Hazard's cross found him. And it's a lovely left-footed uh, footed volley. It finds the bottom corner there. There was such a good technique on that uh, volley. You know, he just wraps his foot around it, strokes it into the bottom corner. No need for power. Just stroke it into the bottom corner. Find the back of the net and make it Udinese nil, Napoli 1. So, you know, I've said it before. £20 million pound plus Higuain. That is just been an incredible deal at first I thought maybe that's an overspend to be honest considering how good Higuain was but the fact that Balotelli's goals to game ratio just keeps on improving all the time shows what a great piece of business that was so Balotelli gets the goal it's his 10th goal in the Serie A already and it's 1-0 to Napoli and in the 27th minute here we win the ball with uh, Eden Hazard. Hazard plays the ball through to Balotelli who linked up for the first goal some nice link up play by the pair once again it's Hazard who keeps on going really good piece of dribbling crosses the ball in and once again the two link up for the second goal of the game. It's a really good cross by Hazard. It's a really good finish by Balotelli and it's 2-0 to Napoli here away from home. So great cross by Hazard. Really good finish by Balotelli. This time with his head instead of his left foot and it is 2-0 to us away from home. So 
great cross by Hazard. He's been a bit of an assist monster during the uh, the season so far. He's had a lot of crosses into the box which have been converted and some good passing as well. So really good cross by Hazard and it's 2-0 here. Balotelli with both. And in the 38th minute, a great chance for us to make it 3-0. It's Fabio De Silva who gets onto the ball. Nice little step over here. Then just completely gets past his defender. Mugs him really. Plays the ball into Balotelli. Nice little turn. Gets onto his right foot. And it is a great finish by Balotelli. Really good strike. So he scored with his header. Uh, sorry, he scored with his head. He scored with his left. And he scored one with his right. So perfect hat trick for Balotelli. Really good performance he was putting in. And it was 3-0 to us. And Udinese really didn't threaten um, in this game at all, to be honest. I found it such a formality. I thought this game was going to be so much more difficult. But instead, we just completely blitzed past them. Thanks to the help of Super Mario, of course. And in the 88th minute, the last chance would have forced to us. Uh, we play out front and back. Eventually, Buriti gets onto the ball. He hasn't scored this season so far. Of course, he's a holding midfielder, of course. And uh, he almost got a great solo goal here. But unfortunately, the goalkeeper made the save. And Udinese cleared it. But the game did finish 3-0. So a hat-trick for Balotelli. Really good performance. And another fantastic win for us as this crusade uh, goes on as we look to defend our Serie A title. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave likes. That's much appreciated. And it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.